buckets back there. I don't have no kids with me right now. They're back at the hotel with the wife. But, guys, it has finally happened. This Chicago boy, this Illinois boy is going to get some Illinois geodes. That is right, guys. I am on my way right now to Jacob's Geode Mine out here in Hamilton, Illinois, located right near the border of Iowa and Missouri. I'm meeting up with a good buddy of mine. We're gonna go do some geode hunting. As you guys know, I'm all about them geodes. So, we're gonna go out there. We're gonna find some geodes, guys. And I'm gonna show you guys what it's like. I'm super excited. This is gonna be very, very different. Very different than my normal collected, guys. I'm normally out in the creek. This is an actual mine. So we're gonna be going, we're gonna be getting these things from the wall, I do believe. Um, I've got a hammer and chisel and I've got some things to work with but I think that the Geo Cracker is gonna be working a little bit, a little hard today, but I'm excited. I'm about 25 minutes away. It is just, it's so beautiful guys. So check out the scenery I'm gonna share with you right here. I'm in Iowa right now on this side. Illinois is way over there. So the hotel that we are staying at is in Iowa. So we're heading on down. I'm gonna be cutting over into uh, Illinois here soon, so. And it's just absolutely beautiful. And for those curious of where I'm at, I'm a tourist right now, so I'm gonna share everything. Linger longer rest area, right off of Route 61.
guys. So we just talked to the office, talked to Gary, met him. Awesome, awesome guy. Showed me some cool geodes. Um, but we, uh, we're heading down the road here. It's about a half mile down. If you guys ever come out, you want to make sure you stop in, say hello, let them know you're going to be out there. Uh, they'll let you know where to go. They'll let you know what's, uh, what's being worked right now and whatnot. Um, and yeah, so, but we're, we're here. I'm going to get this turned around to show you guys what it's like. start digging for these geodes. That's why we left the car. Here. Hello, Mr. Frog. Whoa. Goodbye, Mr. Frog. Thank you, Pad. We made it. Um, we're gonna avoid that mud. And we're gonna walk right What's up, brother? We're out already. We're out already. <laughs> I've been digging for an hour at least. Okay. Okay. Ugh. I busted a couple breaking into the oh, nice. spot. Not bad Look little. Look at that. Well, you got a couple little pretty ones. Exciting. Not very many yet, but. Alrighty. Alright guys, I forgot my backpack, but that's okay. So I don't have a tripod. Anyways, I'm gonna find a spot to set this up. 
Jared's finding some cool things. I've got my little area I'm gonna start working at. And I think I'm just gonna find somewhere to prop my phone up and hopefully you guys be able to see. But we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. My phone's in the mud, but it's okay. I'll tell you what, all this rain that they have. Getting messy, guys. Double to end it. All from one spot. 
it's a pocket. Not too shabby. Working this one later. Not doing that too shabby. Got a couple bigger ones, but they're they're either halves or they're pretty flat. Jared over there, he's finding some nice ones. Look at these guys. I need one like that. We've been here an hour. We got four left. Oh yeah, look at this guy. Possible triple and there was a there pancake was one on the bottom. Pancake one on the bottom, yep. But we're out here. Exciting. I think turning these layers up is a good idea. If we can get one that we can get underneath like that, that worked out well. Yeah, I'm slowly making my way down to this layer here. these little ones are just solid in the middle. Kind of a double? Almost Maybe a triple? I think there's one there, one there, and one there. Very nice. Cool. It's hot. Hey, someone else joining us. I 
That's the biggest one oh, of the day. Yeah. Very nice. It's the biggest one so far. Hell yeah. So we've been collecting for a little bit. <sighs> There's my bucket. I think I got a couple of geodes. I don't yeah, know. see you in there. A couple. The goal is to get some into that one too. But we're still in the same spot, just working away. But my phone got too hot, so I needed to go set it in the car and uh, let it cool down so I couldn't do any more filming. But we're out here, we're back at it, guys. You can see right here, this is the layer. This layer's been good to us. Yeah. You can see one there, bam, bam, bam. Just popping out all over the place. So I recommend if you guys are coming out here, look for the gray clay. That's where we're finding everything. I don't know. The boy from Arkansas, he was over, I think, on the, the spillway now. He found three that were huge. Big, big, big can't, can't show you the size of the one hand, but they're, they're pretty big. But we're going to keep working. The sun came out a little bit, but it's starting to go away some more now, so we're going to keep plugging along. Check back soon. Well, all right, guys. That's it. I'll show you the spot that we were working. We picked through it pretty well, but we just invited some other folks over here to, to pick up the ends. But no. not too bad. Alright guys, I'm showing you a different side of Jacob's mine. We walk down the creek a ways and it's starting to feel like home. It's starting to feel like where I collect geos normally. Here's a hollow one. So beautiful. So we're gonna poke around in this creek here. I think we found a couple things. Fossil plate, a few geos, but beautiful. Slippery though, fell and busted my knee. Alright guys, that is it. A little bit messy. But we've got we've got our bucket full. Only got the one bucket. Um, you pay for a bucket here. Uh, so I didn't want to have it knocking around in the trunk. Um, but man, it was a lot of fun. If you guys come down here like I showed, um, check out that gray clay. That gray clay layer. Um, is where we were pulling them out. We would find little clusters or pockets. That's what I would call them. I know they're not necessarily crystals, crystal filled, but um, I would call them pockets. And we would just find like anywhere from four of them to two dozen of them, just all grouped together and from varying sizes. A lot of like really itty bitty ones, but for every like four or five little ones, there was a nice decent sized one. Uh, met a gentleman uh, named Dave from Arkansas. Um, and he, he was going to town. He met, he brought uh, a pickaxe with him and he, he had a, a lot of equipment. I'm gonna update and give you guys an updated uh, equipment list of what I recommend when you come out here because just my rock hammer was, I was able to get some and you can find some, but it's gonna be, you're gonna have a much easier time if you bring some more equipment. Um, but that's why I wanted to do it this way. I showed up, no backpack, just my bucket my hammer I mean I plan to have a backpack but I forgot it um so it wasn't it wasn't too terrible guys so if you were looking for a place to get geodes and you're on the west side of Illinois near Iowa um check out Jacob's Geode Mine it's a fun place um I recommend it Gary is a really cool guy he's a cool guy I just sat and chatted with him for about 10 minutes before I even got out here and uh, started collecting told him about the page and whatnot so <sighs> that's it that's all you're gonna get from me guys